Ooh, everyone, my name is Python GB, and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Summoner playthrough. We are back. Thank you so much for the amount of support you showed in the last episode, and indeed for the series. It is very much appreciated, and of course, if we can keep it up, that would be appreciated also. But yeah, we are here. We are in the underground mushroom biome because we are trying to get ourselves some truffle worms because... As an episode end goal, I wouldn't mind trying to take down Duke Fishron. I mean, I have my Master Ninja gear, which is pretty cool. We have our Angry Pygmy necklace, which is also pretty cool. And, um, I don't know, man. If I had one more accessory slot available to me, I would definitely put the Pygmy necklace on. But the sake, for the sake of keeping speed in the air, I don't think I want to take off the lightning boots, to be honest. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like that's a bad idea, but I don't know. I could be wrong. But, uh, yeah, we're pretty much just waiting for a truffle worm to pop up on the old rare creature detector. If that could happen, that'd be fantastic. Whether it'll actually happen is another matter. Uh, we do have ourselves another mushroom biome just to the right-hand side over in this direction. Here we go. Here it is. Okay, so we could do a little bit of AFKing here for a little bit, I guess, just to see if we can get ourselves a truffle worm. I'm really hoping we can get a truffle worm, because it's what we need in order to progress. Well, if we want the Tempest Staff, anyway. We'll have a chance of getting the Tempest Staff. That is what we need. So, oh, are you for real? One just popped up on the rare creature detector, and it just got immediately killed. And that's just a bunch of crap, dude. I can't believe that. That's annoying. That's annoying as hell. Can you, like, not do that again, please? I wouldn't actually mind capturing one of them truffle worm dudes. You know? You know what I'm saying? I need one. I need one now. Let's get one. Alrighty, guys. And after quite a lot of time of freaking truffle worm farming, I've got to say, these three mushroom biomes we've got, this one here, this one here, and this one here, they're all very, very small. And as a result, not much seems to spawn. So, yeah. It took a long time, basically. It took a long freaking time. And it was very, very annoying. So, anyway, we managed to get three of the buggers, so... I'm feeling pretty good about that. We managed to get ourselves a couple of accessories as well. We got ourselves a metal detector and a magic quiver. Both of which aren't exactly useful because we already have the ability to, you know, see valuables nearby. So, yeah. Not entirely useful to our cause, but oh well. Still pretty cool nonetheless. Uh, let's go ahead over a quick stack some stuff. Gladiator armor and blooming... Oh my lord, we've got all sorts of stuff up here. Uh, right, uh, do 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 Gotta go over here and quick stack some stuff inside the chest. There we go, nice one. Right, okay, so, I think the time has come. I think we're gonna give it a good shot. We're gonna give it a good shot. We'll see if we can take down the good old Duke Fisher on boss. If we do, awesome. If not, then I think we'll move on to either the Pumpkin Moon to finish off our spooky armor, or we'll move on to Martial Madness to try and get the Xeno Staff. Either of the two you know, will be cool, I guess. So, yeah. Alright, so, uh, great healing potions are all good. Uh, we should probably get buff potions for this, actually. And something else we should probably get is a fishing rod, because we do need one in order to actually initiate this event. So, let's set up here really quick. Uh, fishing rod, there we go. Reinforced fishing pole, that will do the job. Sweet! Okay, so, uh, Bewitching Table, that's looking good. And in terms of buff potions, we have ourselves Heart Reach. I'm not sure if that's going to be useful, but we'll take it anyway. We'll take Gills Potions. Actually, no, we don't want Gills Potions. Uh, we're going to take Water Walking Potions instead. And we are also going to take, ooh, what else should we take? Spelunka, no, Featherfall, Flipper. Yeah, Flipper Potion might actually be useful. Huh, kind of cool. All right, and I think that might just about do it. Do we have stuff in there that we could potentially make potions out of? Yes, we do. Oh, my lord. We've got loads of stuff. Okay. Uh, oh. One Iron Skin Potion. Okay. Uh, Swiftness Potion. Mine as well. Magic Power Potion. They're going to be useful for the clouds. Uh, any other sort of good buff potions that we can make right here? Uh, Builder Potion. Water Walking. No, that's, that's pretty much everything. All right. I think the time has come to head over to an Ocean Biome. And we're going to see about getting this thing rolling. I'm thinking left-hand side, but since our thing is more to the right-hand side, I think we're going to go... Yeah, we're going to go to the right-hand side ocean and see what's going down. So, yeah, let's meet you guys over there. Oh, my God, it's Pinky! <laughs> what are you doing down here, buddy? <laughs> you just got done destroyed by my deadly spheres. 
Oh, well. Right, now then, I picked up a whole bunch of rich mahogany wood on the way down here. So what I'm hoping to do is build two massive wood platforms, which we can sort of interchange between every time we sort of attack Duke Fishman. You know what I'm saying? Just sort of alternate between the two platforms as we go along, because I feel like that might be a good strategy to go for. So, yeah. In the meantime, let's go ahead and... Uh, whoa! That's going to get moderately annoying. I'm trying to build here. I do not need you dashing around like some headless freaking chicken. All right, now then. Uh, let's go ahead and whip up some of these uh, rich mahogany platforms. And uh, let's say 200? Will 200 do the job? I have no idea. Right, I'm going to temporarily get rid of the uh, that. So we can actually place these things down. And let's see how far 100 platforms will take us across. Well, that's only taken us about, what, just under halfway to the ocean? Or to the edge of the ocean? Man, that's a bit disappointing, actually. Okay, uh, right, we're going to go ahead and go up. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say 18 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, so it'll be down to 18. Okay, cool. 19, 18. Cool. And then, of course, we make ourselves another platform like so. And, yeah, we're going to basically need a whole bunch more platforms to get this thing rolling. So, yeah, let's get this arena set up. And let's see about taking down Duke Fish one, huh? Alright guys, the time has come. I will admit there's some improvements I could possibly make to this in that I could put down some heart lanterns or some other stuff like that. Maybe another, you know, wooden platform above this one as well. You know, we can make this into a multifunctional arena if we really wanted to, but obviously we already have a pretty damn good arena beside our base. So actually, I don't know. But it would be nice to try and, like, link up a teleporter or something like that just to make things a bit easier. But anyways, guys, I think the time has come to get this thing rolling. So, yeah, we're going to go and put on our accessories. How's our... Eh, it's not too bad, actually. Movement speed isn't too bad. As long as we keep flying, we should be okay. All right, so let's buff up right now. And we shall await the arrival of the dude. All right, the time is now. Oh, baby. Go on, do your job, sonny. Oh, come on. It's all about avoiding his attacks at this point. Okay. Woo! Yeah! I've got to say, the Master Ninja gear is coming in for me right now. Oh! Okay, I forgot about these blooming Sharknadoes. <laughs> it would be useful if we do not forget about the Sharknadoes, obviously. Because, yeah, they're kind of dangerous. They really are kind of dangerous. Whoa! Damn it! I missed it. I messed up! I done messed up! Okay, these bubbles. Ugh. Okay, and we're back up to max health. Oh, okay, let's be careful. I need to get into some sort of rhythm, and I'm failing to do so at the moment. Okay. Keep it going. Ow! Hurting. He's down to 41k, is that it? Oh my god, this is going to be an endurance fight, isn't it? Woo! Hey, Budski! Come on, then. All right. Let's see about avoiding his attacks. Oh, that was a nice little dodge right there. Holy crap, man. That was pretty pro right there. I'm not going to lie. Oh, and again. Man, I'm a freaking pro with this, dude. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Master Ninja Gear, man. What can I say? It's pretty damn good. Ouchie. That was 79 damage, I do believe. Oh, crap. Oh, that was a double hit. That was not very good. Okay. Maybe I was getting a bit, uh, you know... <laughs> A bit ahead of myself. Ooh. Come on, man. Ah! Fishies! Fishies everywhere. I don't like it. When there's fishies everywhere and there's freaking nados everywhere. What the heck, dude? Alright, and let's get a bit of health up in here. Alright, let's have some more clouds. Okay. Oh, no. Oh! Avoiding like a pro. The stupid fish, dude. What the heck? It's either the nados or the weird ass stupid fish. Dude, I'm going to die 100%. Yeah, I don't think I've got this. I don't seem to be able to get into any kind of rhythm. No! Oh, I've, I've dodged the attack. Holy crap. That's actually kind of cool. <laughs> Alright. Oh, man. 30 seconds to try and live. That's actually kind of difficult. Alright. Come on. Do, 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 do. Avoid his attacks. Or at least try to anyway. Oh, no! The nados are in such weird places. It's kind of annoying. Okay, come on. No, 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 five seconds. Come on. Oh, okay, that's my health uh, got back there, nice one. Okay, cool. 
No! The fish again! How many more times are those damn fish gonna get me? That's annoying as hell! Alright, come on, man. What's he at? Oh! He's gonna go to second form now. What? There's another slime there! What the hell, dude? Oh, boy. Now, I'm 100% going to die. If I manage to do this, I'm gonna be extremely very, very surprised. Okay. No. 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 Okay, come on. I can only take, like, two hits. And then I'm dead! No. One hit and then I'm dead. No! I don't need slimes, okay? Slimes are no-no. So, please, no. Don't do that again. It's rude! Come on. Ten seconds. I am beginning to mash the HK. key. No! Ah, oh, man! It's those bloody fish! Every time, man. I think aside from that, my Master Ninja gear was really coming through for me there, dudes. Right, I think the problem there was damage per second. That was definitely a lot longer than I would have wanted it to be, so... I'm thinking at this point, we definitely, definitely take down Martian Madness again. Try to get ourselves the Xeno Staff, and then from there, we should be able to take down Duke Fish Run. And actually, I'm just thinking, we could also hopefully get a Cosmic Car Key, and then do a whole bunch of stuff there, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I think what we're going to go and do is we're going to head over, try and get ourselves a Martian Probe, get the Martian Madness event initiated, and then, you know, just try to get some stuff. I'm not going to go through the entire event like I did, and nor am I going to do like a montage of me, you know, just taking down the sources. I mean, at this point, we're just literally trying to farm out for the Cosmic Car Key, and also the, the, the thing. The thing, I tell you, the thing! I'll tell you what might be a cool idea. If I try to go ahead... And uh, do a bit of farming around here. I wonder if I could do that. It'd be kind of cool if I could. Okay, let's uh, let's see about like sticking around here or something. That could be pretty cool. Alright, and what if I go ahead and do that? Yeah, that could work. So if we do a bit of farming... Wait, oh, oh it's only over there. Okay, I can work with that. I could definitely work with that. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to try and do, do a double whammy. If we manage to get ourselves a frozen key, that'll be absolutely incredible. And if we manage to, you know, get some other stuff, then yeah, I mean, of course, I'll bring you guys back so we can see us getting them. So yeah, let's head up. Let's get the Martian Manus event initiated, shall we? Oh, hey there, Mr. Martian Probe. What you doing down here at the surface, man? What the heck? Alright, so Martians are invading. We are near the dungeon at the minute and we need to try and get back to the snow biome. Oh my god, let's not take down those, uh... Yeah, let's not take down those guys. They seem a bit threatening. I ain't taking them down at the moment. Alright, now then. Will I be able to take them down in the snow biome? If I can, I'm going to stay in the snow biome. If not, I've got myself a bunch of snow so I can make myself an artificial snow biome back at the arena. So, yeah, let's see how it goes. Making our way back. Okay, are we going to be able to do it here? No, we're not. Ah, oh, dang crapper, man. So what, do they always invade like the center of the Oh my sweet lord, there's one already there, holy crap. Okay, uh, yeah, I wasn't quite expecting that, but uh, yeah, apparently it's, it's throwing us straight in, man. It really is, it's just throwing us straight in. Alright, so as you can see, I've made a start on making my artificial snow biome so we can try and farm out for some of the good old things, you know the things, and yeah, we're, do we're, just, we're doing this as the Martians are coming along, because why not? Alright, my dude seemed to be doing the job quite nicely, which is cool. Alright, oh, god freaking damn it, man, why, why would you do that? Like, why would you actually do that? I mean, I'm clearly trying to get on with my life and do some awesome things involving snow, and you're just sat here like, nope, you're just like, nope. I'm, I'm just gonna kill you instead. I'm sorry. It's the way of the world. <laughs> man, what a bunch of jerks. Come on, man. Let's keep it going. Come on. Is this gonna be enough to actually turn this into a snow biome? I'm hoping so. I do believe it's either 50 or 100 blocks of a specific biome that you need in order to do this thing. Oh, what the hell, man? Oh, God freaking damn it. Alright, well, now, now we have to wait, I guess. Obviously, that other one we had despawned, so... Yeah. Let's wait. Alrighty, this bot at all is almost dead. He is dead now. Alright, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, carry on trying to get ourselves an artificial snow biome, huh? Okay. Oh man, I don't know how I'm going to be able to recognize whether it's actually worked or not, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be kind of difficult. Ow. We may have to dig one more layer down, to be honest. 
Uh, yeah. All right, let's give that a go. We'll dig one more layer down, and we'll see how that works for us. Hopefully it does work. Uh, come on. There we go. Place in. Do, 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 do. So, yeah, three layers of uh, snow blocks. I don't know, man. It seems a bit excessive for just to get this to register as a snow vine, but... Oh, well, we'll keep going with it. Oh! Guys, check it out! The Xeno staff has just dropped! Hey, man, I'll freaking take that for sure! Awesome stuff, man! I can't believe we finally got it. Alright, there we go. Xeno staff. 55 summon damage. Obviously, uh, you know, with the spooky armor and also some other stuff combined. What am I on about other stuff? Oh, and a good reforge. Yeah, this thing is going to do a pretty damn decent amount of damage. Awesome, man! Alright, I might as well go ahead and put it on now, actually. Let's get these uh, things replaced with these guys. Ah, uh, you see, look at that damage per second counter now, my friends. 400 upwards. That's pretty awesome, my friends. That is pretty awesome. This thing is getting wrecked in the face. I love it. <laughs> yeah, get freaking wrecked, dude. And there we go, the cosmic car key. <laughs> oh, my lord. We've pretty much got everything that we want from this invasion. Damn, dude. Ah, let's put this little baby on. Uh, wait, where is it? There we go. Ah, oh, infinite flight. That sweet flight nectar. I will take that and I will be happy with it forever. Ah, oh, freaking yeah, dudes. I'm really, really happy about this, my friends. I really am. We managed to get all the things that we wanted from this invasion. And yeah, feeling pretty, pretty good about it. So yeah, the only thing left to do now is to take down this guy. Or take down these guys. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and take down the pumpkin moon one last time. And yeah, hopefully that will do the job. All right, buddy, there may be Martians, but the time has come to reforge this little buddy. Strong, inept, strong, forceful, agile. Seriously, nothing with damage. Celestial, that's good. I'll take that. All right, let's go and refresh these dudes. There we go. With six of them. Awesome stuff. And then we're going to head down here really quick. We're going to grab ourselves some of these hallowed bars. There we go. That's exactly what I want. Uh, and then we also need ourselves... Some... Oh, what the devil is it? We need some ectoplasm. Oh, crap! We haven't, have we not got any ectoplasm left? Ah, oh, dang crapper, man. Well, I can't be taking down the pumpkin moon. Well, that's just a bunch of balls. Alright, well, we're going to make our way to the dungeon and see what's going on. Alrighty, guys, and there we go. Five ectoplasm. That was gotten really quickly, actually. I'm pretty surprised. Okay, right. Uh, let's just get on with it, man. The pumpkin moon is rising. I don't know how this is going to work. Oh, my God, they still spawn it. Wait, is there a mixture of the two events now? If so, that's pretty damn badass. I think I may have just overtaken the Marsh of Madness event with something else. Okay, that's kind of cool, actually. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay. So, is it actually going to be a mixture of the two enemies? Uh, so far, I'm only seeing Martian stuffs. Is it just Martian stuffs? Yeah, it is just Martian stuffs. Okay. I don't know how exactly this is working. We had a bunch of uh, we had a bunch of pumpkin moon enemies to start off with, and then it's just a bunch of other guys now, man. I don't even get it, man. I think I may have just wasted that pumpkin moon medallion, to be honest. <laughs> In which case, I think I I just derped quite badly. <laughs> Lols. Alrighty, let's just keep going. Oh, do you know what? Actually, what might be a good idea is if we go to the snow barn because the thing wasn't affected over there. All right, cool. Yeah, let's do that. Aha! Here we go, my friends. Yep, I was right. All we needed to do was get away from the Martian Madness place. And yeah, now we've got all the Pumpkin Moon dudes. Alright, so we need ourselves, what, 122 more wood? Shouldn't be too difficult, right? Hopefully not, anyway. Yeah, the more of these dudes we can kill, the better. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave my... I'm gonna leave my dudes to do their job, and we'll see how we go. Alrighty guys, currently sitting at 140 spooky wood, obviously we need 200. This guy here should bump us up very, very nicely. And yeah, we still have like three and a half minutes to get this thing done. So, that guy is dead. Oh, that almost killed me, holy crap. Okay, so what are we looking like now? 196. We are very, very almost there, my friends. Very almost, and then we'll get back to the Martians and kick their butts, basically. Alright, any wood on the floor? Sure would be cool if there was. Uh, I can't actually see any, man. Holy crap, there's a lot of guys. It is crazy, man. It is crazy, I tell you. Uh, yeah, still 196. I mean, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to get this for sure. Like, there's no doubt about it in my mind. 200, there we go. Bang on the dot. That should do it. And we should now be able to make ourselves some spooky armor. So, yeah. 
let's see about hopefully getting these guys. What the heck, dude? I don't need no freaking UFOs on me right now, man. That's just wrong. All right, here we go. Do, 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 do. Give me one of them helmet things. There we go. The time is now, my friends. The time is freaking now. Let's put these babies on. And there we go. We have got some superior amount of damage right now, which is just crazy. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get the rest of these guys taken down. Ooh, a brain scrambler. Got ourselves another mount. Interesting. Right. Oh, wait. Summons a rideable Scutlix mount. That's kind of cool. Sweet. What the heck? Looks like Malia, Ahiram, and Lorenzo are throwing a party. <laughs> wow, that's brand new. For the 1.3.2 update, I should probably clarify in the last episode, I was misinformed in that the 1.3.2 party update is actually based on the fact that Terraria hit five years old, which is pretty incredible if you think about it. That is really, really cool. I kind of want to go to that party and see what's going on, man. I really do. But, you know, we're going to serve as a bunch of Martians to take down first. So let's see about taking them down. There's another one of them dudes. Oh man, what the heck is going on, man? Come on, come on, get wrecked, Sonny. Get wrecked. You all need to get wrecked. Come on. And there we go, my friends. The Martians have indeed been defeated. And yeah, there's basically a whole hell of a lot of drops on the floor now. But I want to get to the party, dudes. I want to get to the party. I want to go there like right now. But I know if I do that, I'm just going to lose a whole bunch of stuff. So, uh... Yeah, I think we should go ahead and just put the stuff that we managed to obtain in the chest. So, you know, we've got a bunch of stuff over here and stuff over there as well. Oh my lord! Got so much stuff, it's actually ridiculous. Boom. Uh, no, that was going in a different chest. Boom. Uh, you go in there. There we go. And I do believe there's a couple more drops I need to pick up. So, yep, there's one right there. And some stuff over here as well. Alright, cool! There we go, and quick stack. And yeah, I want to go to the party, man. Let's head there, let's head there, let's do it now. Alright, where's the party at? Oh my god, look at it, man. Gunpowder Gary? <laughs> look at this. <laughs> oh, this is awesome, man. These guys are throwing a party. This is sweet. Alright, so where's the party girl? Do we have a party girl? Are you the party girl? Hey, buddy. What you got? Oh, this is hairstyle. Oh, dang it, I got it wrong. Okay, so what? Where's the party girl at? Do we even have a party girl in this world? This is freaking awesome! Look at this, man! <laughs> this is sweet! Everybody's throwing a party and I don't know what's going on. I want to find the party girl. Do we actually not have a party girl in this world? I actually don't think we do. God damn it. Because I'm pretty sure the party girl's got a whole bunch of new stuff that she sells now. And yeah, basically, yeah, I can't do a great deal of stuff. Never been to a party before? You might want to check around with the others. People sometimes bring out special party favours? What? Night vision helmet, uh, rocket one, nothing too special over there. So what, are these guys selling different things now? I don't know, man. Uh, Goblin Tinker has arrived. Hey, buddy, what you doing, bud? What you doing there, man? I thought you were still alive, dude, I'll be honest with you. All right, uh, what have you got? Uh, diver, nothing different there. Hairstylist, I don't think you've got anything new. Uh, Twilight hair dye, Martian hair dye. Interesting, interesting. All right, let's head down here. Let's see what the painter's got. Anything new? Uh, doesn't look like it. Witch Doctor, nothing. Dryad, nothing. Explosives guy, nope. Mechanic, uh, wire bulb. What? Lights up bulbs for each wire color. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Mechanical lens grants improved wire vision. Uh, boom. Port in caverns, there's nothing different there. And finally, we have, a, we have ourselves a merchant, nothing different there. Okay, so, yeah. That's pretty interesting though, that's pretty interesting. We're going to serve a little party event, but I can't really do anything because there's no party girl. But anyways guys, I think on that note, it's time to end the episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode and of course you're excited to see more, be sure to drop a like rating. And of course you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But here we go my friends, we finally got the spooky helmet completed. And we got ourselves this thing. And we also have a Xeno staff. So in the next episode, we should be able to take down Duke Fishman with absolute ease. So yeah guys, thanks for watching. My name's Python, and I'll see you guys next time.